than Sasha, you know, for my usual, of course. Zara? <laughs> Senator. Zara has become an addiction for you, I must say. <sighs> Senator, there are other new girls. I mean, chocolate, tall, beautiful cults around. So why her? Now listen, eh? New can never be Zara, okay? I mean, Zara is like old wine, sweeter with age and time. <laughs> you can never beat her. <laughs> so does everyone say. Anyways, I am happy that I am meeting with your expectations. That's good, you're trying. You know her room? Yeah, I do. She'll be waiting. <laughs> Madam Sasha, I'll see you. All right. Yes, I am. Remember, I'm not settled you yet. Oh, that. You paid Lady Sasha, so I get my cut from her. You deserve much more. And a lady that gives me the kind of pleasure you do give me deserves more than anything. Fine. Drop whatever extra you have on the bed. towards your other clients. Now, Zara, listen. Senator, uh, Senator, not... please. Your time is up, okay? I need to rest. you get 200,000 Naira by the end of today. was the bomb. <laughs> the height of it was when the minister walked in and pointed at me. <laughs> Can you beat that? Of course. She will beat your record by the time she travels to South Africa with the governor. Who? Me? Yes, you my darling. The governor personally asked for you. Um, I'm not interested. Excuse us. Zara. Do you have problems? You have been acting strangely of late. I'll be glad to help. I'm fine. I just... I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> so, you want to disobey me. You know the consequences, right? <laughs> Madam Sasha, I hope you're not trying to threaten me right now. Because from the contract I signed with you, I'm an executive housemate now. Which means that I've paid all my dues. And I do with my time what I wish here. Zara. Zara, please, do this for me. I beg you. Someone highly recommended you. And it will affect my business if you don't go with the governor. And Zizi, how could you have turned down such an offer? The governor. <laughs> Lady Sasha is so pissed right now. She's even talking about replacing you. Tetsi. Don't you want something better out of life? Well, 
I want a Jeep, a Range Rover precisely, and um, an Airstate in Abu. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking with you. I'm being serious. I mean, I feel like it's time for us to just move on and get a better life. Where is the better life? The whole world is dark out there. I mean, there is no better place other than this place. Don't say that. No, don't say that. I could help you offset your dues with Lady Sasha. We can move on. Just leave this place. I have some savings that can hold us down for some months. What would I be doing? There. You can go to school. I intend to. Don't tell anybody, but... I just got my admission letter from University of Abuja. Really? Wow. No, Zizi. I am fine and safe here. Would you please, please, give my suggestion a thought? No. No, Sarah. Nobody is willing to give girls like us a second chance. I really can't believe you, Mom. I can't believe you. Here I am thinking of ways to win an election. All you pressure me about is marriage, 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 Mom. Because it's important. More important than politics, as far as I'm concerned. To you, Mom, but not to me. <gasps> Fainat, you're a prince. Politics cannot give you the kind of happiness that marriage and children would bring into your life. I should know better. Children. Grandkids, right? Just... That's what this is all about, Mom. Grandkids. Okay. You know what, Mom? I will give you grandkids. I promise. When? And how? No, no, I need to understand. When and how? All the young women have been coming your way. You've not even looked at one. Not one single one. How do you expect to give me grandchildren? to try to forget. I know Victoria would have wanted you to do that. You, you, you need to leave. You know, it pains me when I see you staying here all alone, lost in your thoughts. It, it's not good. You need to do something. Mom, I'm trying so hard. You need to try harder. Okay? All right, you know what? What? I am going to strike a deal with you. I will not disturb you until you've won the senatorial election, which I know you would win. Then, after that, we go find a wife for you. Deal? Yes, Mom. Good. Ah, oh, now, oh, I'm famished. Really? Uh, definitely you won't give me anything to eat. Every time I come here, I end up not eating because there's no woman in the house. Mom, are we going to go back to this wife uh, issue again? I'm sorry. If you can have a glass of wine or something stronger, I'd love that. Drink, yes, but food, I'm going to make an order or something. You can't be serious, Zizi. You really want to leave? Babe, I've made up my mind. I'm sick of this life. I'm sick of, sick of sitting here waiting for men to pay me money to spread my legs and satisfy their sick desires. There is too much uncertainty out there. Too much risks. Life is all about risks. And besides, I don't see any risks worse than the one we do here every day. Sleep with different men for money. So how do you intend to cope with school for four or five years? I'll cope just fine. <laughs> well, it's easier for you to say. 
at least you've got an admission to the university. Me, I have never passed jam before. How do I intend to start? You will pass this time, okay? I will help you study. Stop being stubborn about this. How, how are we going to cope? You schooling without work? We will cope just fine. I have some savings, okay? I have a formula now in my account. What? Yes, I do. I can pay you dues from there. And then we can leave. Go to Abuja, get into school, start a small business. School. Better still get another small job to support. You know, just... Mm -mm, I can't. I'm too scared. Dealing with men for money is the only thing I know how to do well. Teddy, I am scared too. I am scared out of my mind. But you're safer with me. Okay? No, sis, I, I can't. Have I wronged you in any way? No, ma'am. On the contrary, you have been good to me. You kept your own part of the contract. But now, I have to move on and find a better life for myself. <laughs> well, if your mind is made up, I won't try to stop you. But if you have any regret and think of coming back, just know that I won't take you back. And I'm serious about that. Madam Sasha, there won't be any regrets. I can promise you that. <laughs> OK. Nice working with you. Thank you. Same here. <laughs> um, whenever I settle down, I will forward you my address, okay? School should start in like two weeks' time, so I plan to settle down very fast. I hope you visit me by my next holiday. Okay, Sissy. <laughs> you, you, you have to leave now before I cry in your river. No, I don't want to cry. <laughs> whenever you change your mind, whenever, it's not too late, okay? Anytime. Okay. Um, let's go and meet your cab guy. I'll be outside right now. You of all people get me involved in something as crazy as this. No way! Hell yes, brother, you agreed. And thank God Cassandra here is my witness. Listen, failure to do that is gonna cost you seven million naira. Seven? Are you crazy or something? No, 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 not at all, bro. Not at all. I mean, you should stop being a sport sport here and, and, and do what we agreed you do. Okay, I, I give up. That's, that's fine. So, where is this blind date of yours? Um, 
I'll provide that by the end of the month. You see, tomorrow I'll put on an advert and uh, by the end of the month, I'll submit to you the entries. Then you get to choose who you want. That's way you don't end up with a toothless old woman. <coughs> okay, um, that sounds like a plan. What do you think, Cassandra? It's fine, wonderful, sir. It's fine, wonderful. Of course, bro, it is. And, and, and month end it is, okay, we have a deal. I hope I don't get to regret this action someday, sir. Oh, come on, bro, you won't regret nothing, believe me, okay? Sorry, sir, I was actually doing something. Brother, one of, us ha one of us has to be crazy or else the world will not be formed. It's not be lonely. Enough, can you just come home? Mom! Come just on, bro, chill, nothing's gonna happen. It's I mean, I thank you so much for releasing your notebooks to me. It's okay, there. It's not always that easy to fit into a new school. Just always feel free to come to me at any time. Just any time. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. So I'll see you in school tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. Take yeah, care. Take care. Bye. Bye. I'm hearing about Zara. That. Zara is gone. What? Wait, why? Was there any quarrel? None at all. So why did you let her go? Because she has the right to. She has paid up all her dues to me. So, she was free to do what she wanted. So why didn't you let me know before letting her go? What difference would I have made? I would have made her an offer she couldn't refuse, okay? Just to keep her as my mistress. Oh, good Lord. Can I have a forwarding address? Well, she didn't leave any. And I won't release it if she had. Why? Because it won't make any difference. Like I said earlier, Zara is a free woman now, and a stubborn one at that. Come on, Senator. I have new beautiful girls, well carved. Just point at anyone, and you will have her. Zara is gone. I know he will come back. He will surely come back because they don't have a choice. I mean, I thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's okay, babe. I didn't even do much, and you're quite intelligent. Me? I don't think so. I feel like I'm struggling. Like, it's so hard. No, with the way things are going, huh? you'll get there. Yeah. Zara! Oh my god, Tati! Oh my god! I oh can't my it's you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, you came to see me! I will need to be going now, Zara. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is my friend, Tati. Tati, this is my classmate, Amina. Okay. I'm nice to meet you. Thank you. Mm. All right. Oh. All right. I'll see you school tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hope I'm still welcome to come and stay with you. Are you kidding? Girl, you are always welcome to stay with me. Come Thank you. Me. you. You are wrong. Just bring the material. Just come and see what's going on. Okay. Shut up. Come and see. What is this? Put it first. It says blind date, so? 
So we are applying. Yeah, no. Hmm. But why? Because this is Nigeria. Anybody can just wake up and write anything online. I mean, are you new? Besides, it says there, if you were chosen, the sum of 250,000 naira will be paid into your account. How could you possibly believe that? Well, I see no harm in trying. <laughs> okay, madam. Why don't you try it first? Me, I have exams coming up a day after tomorrow. I don't have time for anything. I beg, I beg, I beg. Yeah, come on. Mm? We need the money. Mm? Me? Come on now. We need this money. Mm -hmm. Get it now. Okay. <laughs> I win. Okay. Young lady, prepare your application because one of us must win the chance to partake in this blind dates. And we need that money. Blind dates. Go and cook first. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mom, we had an agreement after the election, remember? Okay. But, Vinat, I don't know. This blind date your brother Marcos is arranging for you, I really don't understand it because he might end up giving you the wrong woman. Mom, there's really nothing to worry about. And of course, you know that Marcos is just being his usual mischievous self. Okay, but, you know, this time you'll be spending with your, the secret girl. Wouldn't it have been better if you were spending it with Fiona? Yes, baby. Fiona is made for you. She is tailored for you. All, all right, mom. Mom, that's that's fine. Okay, I I will have dinner with her, but I'll let you know when exactly. <laughs> oh, that is good. Thank you so much. But don't keep me waiting too long, okay? Mom, I won't. I, I won't. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What are you staring at? <laughs> Gloria, don't you think you are being too pushy about this marriage thing? <sighs> I am not being too pushy. And I expect you to be the one pushing. Come on, Gloria. If any help is needed from you now, I think it should be to leave this boy alone to make his own choice. Boy, you call him a boy? Of course. The boy is 36 years old. I am over 60, but I know I still look good at my age. But the truth be told, I need my grandchildren. Well, um, if you ask me, I think you look 20. You see, you got so much energy, my dear. <laughs> Lazarus. Is that meant to be a compliment? No, 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 no. It's a fact. You see, he's only a 20-year-old that can put in as much energy as you now put to get your son married. All the same, I wish you the best of luck. Ah, uh, let me see my friends. Oh. Yeah, 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 man. Babe, guess what? What? They released a new information on how to enter for the blind date. Oh, what information is that? Well, they want us to send our details to this new email address. Mm -hmm. So you send me your details and I'll send it to them. Oh. oh uh, just send me the email address. I will do it myself. Don't worry. 
Are you sure? Of course. How are you? Okay. Okay. I'll do that. I'll fax it to you later. Okay. Thank you. Girlfriend applied. <laughs> you can see what I'm saying, right? <laughs> uh, but, 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 but she's quite beautiful, and um, Peter said she's good in bed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Give me a break. Who was even presenting her? Oh my god. Look at this one. She's quite beautiful. Read that right up. My prince charming. Ways cannot express the joy inside of me. At the thought of what destiny can bring into our lives. I can wait. No, 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 no. D don't bother. Don't, don't bother. I don't want that. Okay. No, just give me her pictures and her contents. Maybe I'll check her later. What for? She's pretty. She. I had the kingdom. Hold on. And this is a bombshell. For the something year old woman applied. Even when we specify that ladies more than 30 years of age shouldn't apply. Can I see the email? For what? What if she's the one I'm looking for? Oh, come on, bro. Your date should be someone quite beautiful, charming, intelligent, and marriageable. Says who? So this had to ensure that you have fun. I don't know what you will be doing with a phone to something yet old woman. Well, I think I'm at liberty to choose where I want to get my phone from. And you guys shouldn't tell me what to do right now, okay? Let me see. Now! <laughs> well, well, you should remember this is my game. I should be the one calling the show. Whatever. What is it? It's just really tough trying to get a job in this town. I just keep getting excuses that either make me unemployable or not experienced enough. Or one stupid idiot wants to sleep with me. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about all that. My only fear is my savings is fast running low. And very soon we might not be able to take care of ourselves. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that's why I'm worried about getting into school myself. Things will get tougher for us. <sighs> Things will get better, okay? Everything will be fine very soon. We'll get jobs very soon. It's easy. Why don't you allow me, you know, go in two rounds? You do now, eh? We'll make enough to take care of both of us. Mm -mm. No, Tati. No way. There is no way we're going back to our vomit. Prostitution will never be an option for you and I again. Ever. Please. I know. You know, in fact, I need to start drawing strength from wherever it is you're drawing yours from. Yeah. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I absolutely have no doubt about that. I don't know why, but I believe you. Thank you for believing me, Miss Tetsy. <laughs> <sighs> this cannot be possible. What? I've just been chosen for the blind date. Here, it's a confirmatory email. Oh my god, it's true! I told you I had strong feeling about this. 
supposed to be fake. It's Come on, it's there already. Huh? Wow. No. What is it again? I just got an alert of 250,000 naira from the organizers. It's a lie! Oh my god! This is true. This is true. You see, you know what? They're coming this weekend to pick you up. We need to get your, your nails, your hair. I'm Marcos, and I'm actually looking for Madame Zara Martins. I, I was at her place, and someone directed me to this place. I can find her here. Um, Zara, she looks different from the picture, right? I know. That's my chick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on, ladies. I hope you're not understanding for your mother, because it is not allowed. And what's that supposed to mean? It's my fault. I, um... I lied in the application. I, I used a different picture and I lied about my age. You did what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If it's not okay, we can cancel on the... No, 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 no. It's perfectly fine, believe me. I, I, I love this, I love this. It's okay. Are you sure? <laughs> See, Zara, I am kind of guy who loves fun, okay? And I love what is happening right now. So can we get going? Just like that. Do you think the guy is going to like me? Oh, come on, Zara. Trust me when I say he is going to like you. Not just like, but love you. Okay, but you have to give us time to go freshen up, dress up. Oh, take your time, take your time, man. Eh? I'm pushing the door. Let's go. Come on. Please sit and make yourself comfortable. Sure you okay? Yes. All right. I have to leave now. Your date will soon be here to see you. Okay. All right. Please excuse me. I know Zara Martin, she's about 40 year old and I have pictures to prove that you're not a person. Look, my brother, what's going on here? Oh, sorry, uh, are you a daughter? Because it was made known that, you know, no relation to standing for the applicant. Uh, I... Actually, I uh, feel the form myself, but... Um... But, but... But what? Look, you better start talking, young woman. Uh, I... I lied in my application. Why? Why would you do that? I'm sorry. Sorry about what exactly? Oh, about the fact that you couldn't allow the person that's most eligible to be here tonight, right? What sort of a joke is this? Yes, it, it was supposed to be a joke. Uh, I just wanted to amuse my friend. I didn't know any of this was going to happen. It, my friend forced me to apply for the blind date. So, yeah. This is really funny. 
Because the only reason why I chose you was because you were the only 40-year-old among the people that applied. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Please leave right now. Okay. Uh, where, what account should I pay in the money? Keep the cash. Leave. 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 I can't seem to be this desperate. Marcus, Marcus. the path of life my soul searches in the deepest part of my essence I feel out of destiny because of what I search for but no matter how dark the day I laugh on no matter how sad the circumstances no matter how winding the journey I will go on searching with those people and this tank is um even leaking oh god mom i'm over here mom hmm. <laughs> that's my girl uh, how are you i'm fine <laughs> so, tell me how did it go well let's just say i have them captivated really <laughs> so did he make any move or did he show interest? <laughs> well, he's still trying to play tough. But there were times I know I saw some glitters in his eyes. Mm. That's my <laughs> Mother, baby. Mm. I've set the ball rolling. Very soon, wedding bells will be ringing. <laughs> oh my God, that's my girl. I'm so happy. Uh... So good to hear. <laughs> you know what? That's... I knew I could count on you. <laughs> now listen, you must give him close marking. So many girls want him. So now you have to play your best game to <sighs> get him. Well, that is true. But mom, mm -hmm. from what I've presented today, there's little or no chance for any other girl. <laughs> His mom especially is thrilled with me. <laughs> she has no choice. She has no choice because I did my part very well. Mm. I sang your praises so perfectly well. <laughs> and innocently at that. <laughs> Mother. Oh. So, tell me, when next are you seeing him? Well, no particular appointment for now. But he promised mm. to engage me in his political campaign. Wonderful! Wonderful, my girl! <laughs> I knew it. Uh, I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Fiona. Mother. Listen. You really need to do this. Please, don't fail me at this. Don't fail me because this is the only chance we have to go closer to this country's corridor of power. And as you can see, the chamber is going down by the day. So we really, we really need the financial security that will come from Vinat's massive family wealth. Don't worry, mother. I know. I will fail you. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> That's my girl. Come. Uh... All right, you know, we need to go and plan. Best plan that you will carry out. Mad. Come on, come on. I mean, girl, you are amazing. Really? Come on. I mean, you look like a diva. Damn, girl. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. Please, I'm looking for Zara. And you are? My name is Vinat. Vinat? Yes. What do you want? After the wrong way you treated my friend last night. 
See, 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 I hope you're not here to collect the money you gave her, because that is so not happening. No, no, I actually um, came here to, you know, see her one-on-one -on -one and, you know, try to... Bennett! So. Babe, are you ready? So you are the Zara? Uh, yes, I am. Hi, I'm Jerry. Oh, welcome. Uh, I'm sorry, you, you look familiar. I mean, um, yes, the politician. You are the politician from the television, right? Yes, I, I am the politician. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure, sir. Man, I mean, wow, it is amazing to see you. Look. I'm your biggest supporter. Biggest supporter. I'm Big humble, time. Bro. Humble. I'm humble. Oh, Thanks, a lot. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Um, Zara, I'm ready to leave. Okay? Um, Vernat, you're not wanted here. You have to leave too. Tati, it's okay. It's fine. I can handle things, okay? Are you sure? I am very sure. If anything happens, call me. Okay? One time. I'll call you. Alright? Okay. Babe, come on, let's go. Yes. Alright, guys, take care. So, what do you want here? Look, Zara, I I came here to apologize about the other time. You know, I maybe I was expecting something and I saw something. Long story short, okay, I came to apologize in person. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. And for that I apologize. Yes, what you care for? Um, you want to make your orders? Um, I'll have whatever you're having. Okay. Please, uh, let's have um, red wine and um, fish. The fish is amazing. The okay. best ever. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, just bring that, then we can take it from there. Yeah. Wow, I mean, I've been here a couple of times and I can tell that they have the best fish here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, right? Um, Tati, is she family? Because she seems so protective of you. <laughs> no. We grew up together. Oh. But we became closer than most sisters. Oh, okay. You just moved here, right? Yeah. Five months ago for school. So why here? Why not Lagos? Because, I mean, I know for sure that ladies love to be in the place that's happening then. Lagos, that we know, should be the center of excellence, right? <laughs> Lagos is a uh, very noisy, rowdy. I just wanted some peace and quiet, you know. Peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. You didn't have that, you know, from where you're coming from. Sorry, I hope you you don't feel like I'm um, interrogating you or something. I guess. When you start wanting something, every other thing loses its appeal. True. You know? yeah. True. I'm talking about appeal. With the elections being moved for um, a few months from now, I'm thinking of just, you know, taking some time out. You know, go somewhere and just rest a bit. You know. Okay. It's good. Everybody should rest once in a while. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I was hoping that maybe you could come with me to one of my private lodges, you know, away from the hustle and bustle of, you know, the city. But hey, I'll bring you back in time, enough time for your studies, if you don't mind. What? I, like I said, I sometimes go to my private lodge to, you know, rest away from the old shenanigans and politics and hustle and bustle of the city. And um, I was hoping that maybe you can come with me. That's a huge one. I don't know what to say. No, take your time. Take your time. By let me know what you decide because I'll leave in the next two days. Okay. Deal. Deal. Um, this one is taking forever to come. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait. Are you? Are you? Are you ready?
Welcome to my little heaven I built away from everybody, especially politics. Wow. <laughs> you know, more like a very relaxed spot for me. It's nice. Thank you. And this is Joyce. She takes care of the space for me. And Joyce, this is Zara. She's going to be my guest for a while. So You're welcome, ma. Oh, just call me Zara, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, and um, I'll let her take you to your room while I go freshen up and, you know, relax. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. She'll take care of you. All right. Let me just go fresh now. Okay. All right. Okay. Don't come out. Let me shake your arm. Too bad my master hardly stays here. Really? Hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he must be very special. Why do you say that? Because my master brought you here. <laughs> How is that special? But the very first woman he's bringing to this house. You know, his life revolves around politics. And he hardly comes here. Whenever he's here, he comes here to rest alone. I must be special then. You are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what will you have for dinner? Anything you have. Anything. Mm, okay. I'll show you to your room. You freshen up and dinner will be ready in a bit. Okay. So after you. After you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just um, going through the dailies. It's okay. Yeah. I made breakfast. You made breakfast? Yes. Are you hungry? Yeah. So let's go eat and stop looking at me that way. Breakfast shouldn't be eating cold. Okay. What? Thanks for the trouble. It's okay. I like cooking. So tell me. What do you feel like doing today? Anything. I mean, your hands, right? Anything is nothing. But brace yourself, okay? For as long as you're going to be on this trip, I'll take you on a roller coaster. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's eat breakfast first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was meaning to ask you, right? Uh -huh. What were you doing before you got into school? I was into buying and selling. Of what? Female stuff. Clothes, shoes, bags, belts, everything. More like um, a boutique? No, really. I sold from the house. So you schooling while you work on the side, right? Yeah. But uh, I've not been able to pin down something to do since I got into school. Hmm. I mean, it's a good thing that our educational system allows you to work and, you know, school at the same time. Yeah. 
I'm determined. I'll, I'll find something soon. Okay. Can I get you something to do? You don't have to. <laughs> you don't you want me to help you? Dara, you're such a mystery. And I would I'd love to get to know you, if you don't mind. Well, we're on a blind date. One that you even paid for before it happened. So, ask me anything. I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Yeah, I guess. Let's not complicate things, please. Well, what, what could be more complicating than the chemistry we felt for each other right from the very first day we met each other? Lazarus, I do not get you. I honestly do not get you. How do you expect me to be calm? That girl could be a spy, a witch, or even an assassin. My dear, it's obvious you're exaggerating. Look, Binat is just having some fun. I mean, he's simply unwinding. And why can't he have the fun with Fiona? How can he not unwind with Fiona? If he was unwinding and having fun with Fiona, I would have no problems with that. I see. You see, the main problem here is that you have refused to appreciate the fact that they are men now. You see, why don't you allow them to make their mistakes and learn from them? Men, you said? Mistakes that would jeopardize their future? Is that what you're talking about? Lazarus, it looks like you've forgotten that this is a royal home. And I would not expect any stupid woman to walk into my home and mess it up, okay? Hi there. So. Sit down, son. Sure, Dad. Mom, are you okay? You don't look good. Marcus. Dad. Your mom is very, very angry with you. No, no. That is an understatement. I am angry. I am livid with anger. Marcus, how could you? I mean, how could you get that kind of stupid woman an unknown woman for your brother? Were you even thinking when you did that? For goodness sake, Mom, when are you going to stop playing God in our lives? Especially Venet. He's a grown man, Mom. So let him leave. Marcus, what do you know about leaving? Answer me, what do you know? We give you pocket money every day, so you know nothing. Listen, Mom, I'm a grown man. So I have the right to do whatever I want to do with my life. Oh, really? I will tell you something. If anything happens to my son, Marcus, if anything happens, you will stop being a man. I'll leave you men to sit here and feel like men.
This weekend has been the most amazing weekend I've had in a long time. Oh, wow. Yeah. I had fun. <laughs> Same here. Really. I really had fun. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Tell me about you. Everything. Your childhood, your growing up, everything. Uh, there's nothing much to tell. It's just regular childhood. Regular childhood, okay. I want to know the regular stuff you did growing up. Well, well, um, dad was a civil servant, okay. Mom was a teacher, okay. She passed, she well, died when I was very young. How young? A few months. Wow, well, um, I'm so sorry. I mean, I can imagine growing up with your mom must have been very tough. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Now, how about you? What was it like growing up as a prince? <laughs> as a prince? <laughs> complex. You know, interesting though, but complex. You know, I won't lie, looking back in retrospect right now, I think, I think I had a good childhood. My dad, my dad was, was a good guy. He's still a good guy, <laughs> you know, my homie, like, we're very close. My mom, oh, my mom was a Margaret Tasha. She's always <laughs> fusing about everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah. She must be a woman of principle then. My mom sets principles. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you think she would say if she found out you were here with me? Oh man, Marcus called me yesterday and said my mom was in her usual element. She was then she's been angry about a lot of stuff. One of which is the fact that I didn't choose a candidate for marriage. Why? Well, let's let's just say that Fiona is not my kind of woman for marriage. Hmm. Fiona, yeah. nice name. Oh. She must be of the same social standing as you. Okay, can we not talk about Fiona now? Can we talk about the one woman that makes me so happy? Please. Hmm. <laughs> you make me very happy too, Venet. Very happy. <laughs> Baby girl, you're one of a kind You take a team on the best others of mine You are everything, money, no fear to buy You and I, we choose the right On this jungle over, only for me pull over, babe, babe. What's the problem there? What happened? 
I just ran into Marcos, Venat's younger brother. Yes? He told me his brother went on a vacation to Lagos. Good. Yes. Then you must be in a first flight tomorrow morning to Lagos to be with him. Come, my baby. Come. Let us go inside and pack all your sexy clothes so that you can go there and knock him out his bling. Mother! Would you listen to me and hear me out? What? He didn't go alone. He went with his girlfriend. What are you telling me? But his mother assured me that he's not involved with anyone. She especially made me believe you're the one and only choice of a wife for his son. He either lied to us or he's just playing games with us. Because Vendat went to his private guest house with a woman. And they've been there for over a week, mother. Over a week! Calm down. Calm down, Fiona. I will go and speak with Venat's mother as soon as possible. And I will solve this mess once and for all. Yes. <sighs> How much you think so? His mother assured me of her son marrying you. And I don't know her as a flippant woman. <sighs> I'm sure it's just a fling. It's a fling. It's just some fling. Mistresses <laughs> means nothing. Come on. Men will always be men. The important thing there is for you to walk down the aisle with him. And that's it. Come on, cheer up, my dear. Everything will be fine. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> um ah. Joyce. Yes. Is everything okay? Sir. Um, is that a problem? Everything is wrong. Nothing seems to be right anymore. Mom! What a surprise, son. Huh? When did you get here? How could you? I mean, how could you take off with a total stranger? Leaving Fiona from a noble home hanging. Mom, look, I, I didn't run away. Okay, I mean, tonight was on recess, so I thought to take some time off to rest. That's it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. As we speak, Fiona is distraught. You know what? I don't want to discuss this in front of you. So, we would go home and discuss. But for now, I need you to run upstairs, pack your things and let's go. You're not talking to a six-year-old mom. Oh, really? But you seem to be acting like someone that is less than six years old. Well, you know what? All right, just go home. Once I get back, I promise I'll come see you. Is it because of this thing? That you talk to me in that manner? Listen, son, I will wipe her off the face of the sun. Mom, that's enough! You don't embarrass my guests like that. Else what? Else what, son? Now, let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit by and let this thing mess up Fiona. Fiona? There's nothing between you and Fiona. Fiona is not my type, Mom. And I doubt this will be my type in the next 40, 50 years from now. Okay, so the person you want to have something to do with is this, this, this thing. This trash that you picked up from the gods. Oh, that's enough! You now shout at me. You now shout at your mother because of some dirty stranger. Have you ever thought, son, what your opponent would do if they had the information that you have something to do with this girl? And has this even occurred to you that she might be a spy? So typical of you, Mom. This is so typical of you. Always taking things out of proportion. You know what? I'm not going to condescend to this discussion any further. You know what? I'll go home and we'll talk about it. And as for you... Better stay out of my son's life. Oh, I see. You know what? We don't need this here. Oh. You're just like other men. I'm 
you're disappointed. I'm obeying your mother's wish. Which is what? Leaving. Why? Because she's right, Venet. She's very right. Right about what, Zara? We're not of the same class. And your openings would definitely use this affair against you. Zara, can you just calm down, okay? Look, I'm the politician here. Why don't you let me worry about politics and all that concerns it? Please stay. Fenner, please let me go. I can't because... I can't because I'm... Because I love you. You love me? Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm in love with you. Please. Please stay. Please, for my sake. I love you too. Stay, please. Teddy, I felt I was dreaming when he said those words to me. Same here. Oh. Eh? He's going to see her now. Only God knows what she's saying to him right now. I feel like I should tell him the truth. What truth? About my past. About everything. You know, my life at the guest house. Oh no, you won't. How can you be thinking of such a thing? Because he's getting serious about us. How serious? Has he talked about marriage? Girl, a man does not tell a woman he loves her for nothing. Of course I need to. I need to tell him everything about my past. What if we bump into one of my clients from the guest house? Like I said earlier, just calm down. Don't take any rash decision right now, okay? Teti, I cannot take that risk. I'm telling him, tonight, whatever happens after that, it's what's meant to be. I mean, I love him too much to keep living a lie with him. Me? My mom, she's a drama queen, like I told you earlier. Oh. In fact, she had to go tell my ghost father about all of this. Really? Yes. Alright. Baby, there's something I need to talk to you about. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? Sorry to interrupt you, sir. Your godfather is here to see you, sir. Oh. Let him in, please. Okay, sir. Can this wait until he goes up? Please, can this all thing wait? Please. Alright? Yes. I promise I'll have your time when he goes, okay? Hey. Good day, sir. <laughs> Hi! It's been a long time. How are you doing? How are you doing? It's um, been a long time. Good, uh, but you look better. You look good too. <laughs> This uh, is um, Zara, my friend. Zara, this is my godfather, Senator Badmus. So, how are you doing? Great. <laughs> She's great, yeah. Good to see you, sir. Oh, you, you too. <laughs> you too. Oh, you're, you're doing great, you're doing great. Thank you, sir. You don't need that. I have a headache. Um, can I wait until we reach? No, I need to lie down now. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. You can allow her to go and rest, okay? Oh. Then uh, both of us can have our discussion. Uh, the bottom line is that I've gotten to meet your your friend. No, that's that's fine. You can you can rest. I'll be up with you, okay? Right. So, so, so. After all, we can have our discussion together. Yeah. The bottom thing is, I've seen your friend. I've met your friend. Exactly. Uh, sit. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, man. I pray. I pray. I have something in this house. Uh, every, every other day is always dry. <laughs> no. Like, this your house means nothing. <laughs> I get that. Joyce.
Tati, Tati, I'm finished. I'm finished, I'm finished. How is Fiona? Exactly why I'm here. Tell me, what is happening? Tell me the truth. How do you mean? My daughter is distraught as we speak now. What is this story? That your son, Vinat, is seeing someone else? Oh, but you told me that he's not involved with any woman at all. You've heard the rumors, right? Well, there's this young woman that Vinat is hobnobbing with, but honestly, she's not worth it. She's just a gold digger. It's nothing serious. It's just a fling. A fling? Oh, but your son should think of how this will affect Fiona. She's already in love with him, my poor child. Oh, poor child. I can imagine. But you know what? Just tell her that it's nothing serious. Honestly, you know how it is with politicians. Once they're done with elections and all that, they're looking for how to let off steam. And this is exactly what he's doing. Really? Hold on. Are you saying I can still count on you on this matter? Of course you should count on me. You have my word. You know what you'll tell Fiona for me? Tell her that I said that Fiona is Finat's last buster. Wow. Oh, now at least I can rest. Please do. Good to hear this. Please do. Is that why you've been frowning since you know? Oh, my friend, my child has been crying. Oh, my poor girl. I don't understand this, Senator. What do you intend to achieve from all this? <laughs> the Lady Sasha. Uh, you see, that, that boy is my godson and one we are grooming for something great in this country. Who knows, he might become the president of this country in future. <laughs> I see. So, what has it got to do with Zara? Uh, I wish you'd be asking something like this. If somebody finds out tomorrow that Zara was a prostitute, that would jeopardize his chances of becoming anything he's going to be in this country. Well, when you insisted I fly down on the next available flight to come meet with you, I came with my business album, thinking that um, it's a new contact that needs my girl's services. But I was wrong. So, wait. You're doing all this to get me blackmail Zara. Senator, why are you doing this? Uh -uh. Sasha, this is not blackmail for God's sake. Sarah is a prostitute and you know it. She's a prostitute. Why are you saying this? Are you not thinking of my own godson? <laughs> Must it always be your business, business, business? <laughs> I don't know you should consider it. Well, Senator, if you want me to convince your so-called godson on whom Zara was, then there has to be something in it for me. You know what I mean? Of course, I'm giving you half a million naira. No. No, Senator. Since Zara left, you've not visited the guest house. That means I've lost over a million naira. I'll just be nice and take one million naira. That's if you want the deal to be done. Smart woman. You know I don't have a problem. Oh, you're, you're smart and nice, okay? You'll get it. you have it. When? You'll get it. Don't worry. You know me. you get it. You say so, baby. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, my godfather just called me. He said it's some sort of emergency. I'm not sure why. <sighs> emergency. Yes, I. Uh, yes, he said so. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's not a matter of life and death. Okay. Hey, I won't be long. Okay. I promise. Thanks. Yeah. Um. I love you. 
Hey, why are you making your face like this? Look, I've told you time with our numbers, okay? My godfather is a nice guy. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, relax. I know, it's just... I really, really do love you. I, I love you. I... Look. I love you too, okay? Hey, but I could wait for you to get ready so we'll go together. No, no. It's okay, just go ahead. I... Are you sure of all that? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll see you soon, okay? Mm. Mm. See you, all right? I'll be back soon. she's saying? What nonsense is she saying? Venet, calm down, okay? Yelling and shouting wouldn't get you anywhere. She's a liar! She's lying! She's saying the truth. Zara is a call girl and a high class one for that matter. I don't believe you! Oh, okay. My, mo my mom put you up to this, right? She did. Come, do not insult me, okay? Venet, do not. You know I have better things to be doing in my time than this. I, I can't take that insult from you. I'm trying to do this for your own good. Oh no, shit. Don't ever get there, okay? Don't try it. I don't have any reason to lie, Mr. Venot. Your godfather here invited me over because of the possible risk your affair with her poses to your political career. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself, woman, for running such a shameful business. Really? Yes! <laughs> so, tell me. What do you say to the politicians that keep us in business? What? Yeah. She's right, son. I used to frequent her guest house, and uh, Zara was my regular. Oh, this is not possible now. I'm sleeping through it now. <laughs> Zara, Zara, you can have a look. Take it. That's your Zara there. Truth, the old truth, and nothing but the truth. Are you a prostitute? Senate. Tell me right now. Right now. I I was. What kind of answer is that? I I gave it up before I met you. Liar! You're such a liar. Because you know what? I met Sasha. Oh, what you guys called Madam Sasha? And she told me everything. She told me that you were her best girl and you're the girl almost all the guys wanted. I even saw pics of you on her phone. Oh my god. She saw, she saw Lady Sasha? He brought her to tell you everything? So it's true, right? <laughs> so this is true. This is. This is all true. Oh god. How could you? How could you leave this secret away from me all this while? How could you? I'm sorry. I, I wanted to tell. When? When? Okay, I guess. I guess when I would have taken you to see the world and your old clients would have taken pics of us and taken to the press. Really? God, this, this is a dream. I, I came here just to start a new life and go to school. That's why I relocated. You never left the old one. You never did. Oh, let me guess. 
You actually relocated down here so you could open a franchise of your own business, so you can be the madame like Madame Sasha was to you, right? You know what, Venet? It's easy for you to judge me. It is so easy for you. You've always had a good life. Oh no, the choices you made in life has nothing to do with your background, and you know it! Oh really? Yes. I don't see you making a different choice if you went days without food or shelter or you had a parent in the hospital dying because of money. You were a prostitute for five years. Five solid years, woman! Yes. And that was because nobody in this world was willing to help me without getting in between my legs. Nobody. I'm not a prostitute, Fennett. Not to me. Honestly, bro, I do not know what to say. But things like that happen every day. There are no more vengeance out there. You don't get the point, do you? I'm not talking about a girl that slept with a few guys. I'm talking about a girl that's being paid for sex. She's a professional prostitute. Maybe she was. She still is. She still is. This girl is different. See, there's something sweet and tender about her. And, and, and. I don't know, but I believe circumstances must have led her to do what she did. Yeah, let me, let me finish. If you had been listening to her, bro, you could have found out about yourself. I, I did yourself, you know? Who oh, shall you on anyway? This is not about being on any side, bro. This is about talking fact. The most important thing right now is that she's out of my life for good. You letting her go? I never had her! I never did. All we had was a mirage of who she pretended to be. You know what? I'm done talking. Excuse me. Mom, please, I, I don't need this right now. I have to go to work. You need a wife. And a good one for that matter. It's been over a month now since that stupid relationship you had with that stupid girl. You need to forget her. Mom, please, can you not just mention that lady's name in our conversation again? Fine. I will not mention her name if you decide to give Fiona a second chance. <gasps> you should be a gentleman. Go over to her house and apologize to her. For what exactly? <laughs> Why are you pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about? You broke the poor girl's heart. Yes! By having that stupid relationship with that, that stupid girl. Mom, there is nothing, absolutely nothing that'll make me go to that sports brat. Oh, really? You call her a sport brat? What about that filthy maggot? I don't even know, I don't even have the word, son, to describe that woman. Between the two of them, who is more decent? Mom, you know what? This old marriage stuff is no longer on my mind. What is on my mind right now is politics. Nothing more and nothing less. Oh, really? Yes. Sir, we have to leave for the meeting with the governor. We just have 15 minutes to get there. Excuse me, how dare you badge into the conversation? I'm sorry, ma'am. You should be sorry. Mom, I have a meeting with the governor right now, and that's my secretary. And you oh, know please, that. so what? I am your mother. No, please, can I go? Okay, we could talk about this later, okay? Please. Mom, go home. I'll wait for you. I will wait for you. No, whatever. Fiona? Yes? What are you doing here? I, I mean, I, it's late and I don't remember asking you to come over. Well, you wouldn't invite me, and when I call, you don't pick. So I've come to see you. This is really unusual. How did you get past my security? Oh, your mom dropped me off and instructed her to let me go. My mom. I see. 
So what do you want? Come on, Bernard. I missed you. Why are you treating me this shabby? Treat you how? How? Come on. You know how I feel about you. Excuse me. Why are you treating me this way? Why are you doing this to me? After all, you went ahead to have an affair with the halot and... <laughs> Ow! Let me go, you're hurting me! How did you know about Zara? Oh! You're hurting me, Vena! <sighs> Get out of my house, right now! Get out! It's late. And I didn't come with my car. What are you saying? Did you come here with the intention of staying over in my house? Did you? Of course I came to spend the night. And you can either give me a bed to rest my head or you kick me out. Fine. You can use the guest room. But please stay away from me. Okay? And where do you think you're going? I know my way to the guest room. I don't want you! Why are you being so hard? Why are you resisting the attraction you feel for me? Feel for you? <laughs> Look, if I ever felt anything for you, you would try so hard and get out. Stay out! Tell me something. Okay. You have five seconds to state your case, else I'll call my security to bond you out of my house. I'm pregnant. Congress, how does that concern me? It's yours. What? Now listen to me and listen to me carefully. I am not responsible for your pregnancy, okay? We haven't protected yourself just once! Once! I have no reason to lie. Lying is your stalking trade! Bro. Oh, shut up! Shut up! You got me to this mess in the first place, remember? Are you serious? Wait. I got you into this mess. Let's be realistic here, bro. I don't remember for one day getting into bed with her without protection. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Zara. I didn't mean to disrespect you, but I'll be in the car. Okay. Okay. Zara, tell me. How much do you want? For 
What? what? Oh, you damn know what I'm talking about. I know why you're here. To play the blackmail game, right? So tell me exactly how much you need to get rid of that sin in your stomach. I think this was a, a mistake. I, I shouldn't have been here. I'll just leave. There you go! Go because a prostitute can be the mother of my child! I was a prostitute. But with you, it was special. And it was different. And you know it. Have a nice life, Mr. Bennett. Hospital. You passed out. Passed out. Oh, my head aches. The doctor said you barely have enough blood and that you have high blood pressure. How could you be so careless about your condition? I was dying of your business. But you made it my business the day you walked into my house and you told me that I was responsible for your pregnancy. The last time I checked, you didn't want it to be any of your business. We're getting married. What? You heard me. You'll be discharged in two days' time, then you'll be taken to my home. What? Is that your new slogan? What? Look, I said you'll be discharged and taken to my home. Then in four days' time, we have a court wedding. Hey, slow down, okay? Just slow down. Why are you taking all the decisions and making all the plans for me? Look, Zara, I did not come to argue with you, Zara. We're getting married and that is final. Joyce will be able to take good care of you. I'm going to South Africa tomorrow. Bennett. What? Oh. Why? Why are you marrying me? to go upstairs and rest, so go to the car and bring the stuff in, okay? No problem, ma'am. But first, I will have to show you to your room, ma. My room? Yes, ma. Because, uh, Master said both of you stay in separate rooms because of your condition, ma. but we cannot share the same room. Only on paper. Only on paper, girl. So why did you marry me? You want to know? Yes. You really want to know, right? Yes. Okay. Well, no. I'll tell you. Now, the reason why I got married to you is to give my child a name. I can't afford some sort of illegitimate child. I'm royal. And besides, I can't give you the reason to want to blackmail me or what still cause a scandal. Why would you think I would want to blackmail you? Same reason why you sold your body for money. You know what, Venat? The first time we made love, I, I felt this overpowering bond between us. And I thought that finally, I found the love of my life, the man who was going to wipe away all my tears. But no, I was wrong. Thank you very much, Fenet. Thank you. Whatever. 
Bernard is very wicked. He's a heartless fool. I've never recovered from the humiliation I got from his house barely a week ago. And he went ahead to marry a prostitute. I just a prostitute, mother. Oh. Enough, child. Enough tears for now. I'm sure there is something. There is something fishy going on. Yes. Because a prince like Fenat cannot marry such a girl. And no, something is going on somewhere. And I intend to find out. Mother, he just wants to humiliate me. He wants to make me a laughing stock, mother. No, my dear. He is the one that will be humiliated. Yes. Just wait. Wait until the whole world hears that he has married a prostitute. How would they know when he's making his marriage to her very secretive? It's not even on the papers. Don't worry. I will do it. I, your mother, will see to it. I'm going to write to all the top dailies in the nation. And I'll also make sure that the blogs carry the story as the top story in their blogs. Vinat and his family must be in the news before the whole world. I want him to be humiliated. I want him to be properly humiliated and destroyed, mother. I want him to be humiliated. He deserves to be humiliated, mother. Calm down, my dear. Calm down. Don't worry, my baby. I will do that. Trust me. Mommy, take me out of here. I want to go home. Take me out before I do something. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Don't worry. It's out. okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take you home right now. It's okay. <laughs> I need us to talk. It's about a baby. No, it's about us. No, it's not us, Zara. Fenet, why are you treating me like this? Why? It's been weeks we got married now and you barely talk to me. You leave here very early, come back so late. You don't even eat at home anymore just so you don't sit on the same table with me. Hey, look, 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 I'm going to conduct myself however I please. I would appreciate it if you can respect that, please. But I need you. Oh, come on, stop playing this emotional card with me. Please. Besides, pregnancy is not a disease, is it? Fenneth, I'm crying your baby. And whatever it is I experience affects this baby. There is a more reason why you should ignore me and pay more attention to the baby, don't you think? Oh, excuse me. Go to bed. Eh? Oh, I will. I'm waiting for my husband. Uh, you don't know? Know what? Uh, you mean he didn't tell you? Joyce, just out with it. What is it? Uh, madam. Sorry, madam. I got traveled to the United States today. And I don't know for how long. Yeah. And I assume he told you. I'll just stay here a little bit, then I'll retire, okay? That'll be all. 
Thank you. Madam, I'm sorry, oh, forgive me, madam. I have to say this. I know everything about your past and how you met my boss. I've been with him for several years, and I can fairly say that he's a good man, and he loves and cares for you. All he needs is just time to come around. I know he still loves you. No. He doesn't love me. He does. Madam, I'm very sure he still loves you. All you need to do is just take care of the baby, concentrate on it and take care of the baby. Because you need to be strong for it. That's the only thing that will keep both of you together until healing takes place. I know he still does. It's okay, just go. Thank you. How was the trip? Yeah, it went fine. Thank you. I'm really glad to hear that, but she didn't tell me you were traveling. I had to find out from Joyce. But at least she got to know about the trip, didn't you? It's just really embarrassing, okay? You... How, how could I not know my husband was traveling when we live in the same house and see each other every day? Look, I'm not ready for whatever it is you want to stay up right now. I had a long trip and I need to rest. I hope you don't mind. I'm not trying to stay up anything, please. I just need us to talk. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Fina, I love you. And I know that deep down, somewhere, you, you still love me. You know what? I, I really need to go rest right now. Fina, Fina, just wait. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Please just forgive me. For, for everything, please. Derek, you don't get this, do you? A lot. I mean, like, like a whole lot has changed between us. And it should be told, I don't, I don't see myself loving you the way I used to love you before. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. And just so you know, that the only reason why you're still in this house is because you're carrying my child. That's it. Excuse me. news agent. What? My, my son's wife is a retired... No, 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 don't worry, man. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Where is that girl? Where is that useless girl that walked into my son's life to destroy him? Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. I knew it. You. I have always known that there's something evil about you. Didn't you know your past was going to catch up with you? When you manipulated him into marrying you? Telling him to claim a pregnancy that is not his? It's his mother. Oh, shut up! How would you know when you've been sleeping around with tons of men for money? Ma, I love him. Did I hear you right? You love who? You don't belong here. Would you just leave my son and let him be? What, what, why have you come into my home to destroy everything that we stand for? You know what? I am going to pay you off so you would leave my son. I know my son, he's a good man, and I know he will not grant you divorce because of the questionable paternity of the baby. So I'm going to pay you whatever amount you want so you will leave him alone. What? Uh, what are you saying? You heard me. 
Just name your price and I'll give it to you. You walk. You don't ever turn around. You don't look back. You forget Vinat. No, I, I, cannot, I can't lose Vinat. He's, he's the only thing. I cannot lose him. She thinks this is a movie. An Indian movie, right? Oh, Z World. I'm sure you watch it. This is no movie, darling. It would be best for you to take whatever money I'm about to offer you and walk. If you refuse, darling, you will leave to regret it. I didn't say anything to anybody. It must have been bad, Moss. Yeah, it was him all right. But he didn't speak to the press. He only spoke to Fiona's mom. And why are you still up? I needed to clear this up. Let you know that I don't have a hand in it. You know you always believe I intentionally create scandal for you. Go to bed. I will, but I need to talk to you first. About what? Um, I've found a solution to all of this. And what would that be? Divorce me, Vanna. Just get rid of me. Are you crazy? I can expose my child to that. So you'd rather expose your child to the hostility between us? Or the constant stress? Like what happened today? Look, Zara, there's no way I'm letting you raise my child alone. Besides, the election is just four days away. After which all of this madness is over. Excuse me. Thank God you're here, sir. Where is she? Still in the labor room. What exactly is the problem? I don't know exactly, sir. I was in the kitchen making her lunch, and I heard her screaming. When I got to the room, she was on the floor holding her stomach. What exactly did the doctor say? Nothing yet, sir. They took her away from me and took her into the room, and she's not out yet. Who said this time? Hey, good day. Where's my wife, please? She's OK. Weak, but OK. Please, can we have a private talk? No, no, we can talk right here. This is my younger brother. Very well, then. I'm sorry. My wife lost the baby. She had an atopic pregnancy. Thank God she was brought here on time. Else, it would have been worse. Okay. Can I see her now, please? She's sleeping. I know. Can, you just, can I get to see her right now, please? This way.
She looks very weak, doctor. Was it painful, doctor? Yes, it is usually very painful. <sighs> doctor, how long will it take before she comes around, please? Anytime as for midnight. She's under sedation as we speak. She needs to rest to gain her lost energy. Okay, boss, um, I don't intend to push it, but can Joyce be with her? Why not? Okay. Mr. Agu, you need to excuse me now. I have some other things I'm doing in the office. Just take care of yourself, okay? Take it easy. The doctor just left and said she'll be okay. Okay. Sarah? My baby's gone. Yeah, it's okay. The most important thing is the fact that you are okay in her life. Did, um, did Joyce tell you I asked for Tetty? Yes, she called me and told me, but I'm afraid um, Tetty is gone. She left the country a few days ago. Oh, Teddy, I need you now. Just go. I need to be left alone. Why? What's the problem? Because I want to be left alone. Joyce, stay. What? Handwriting, Mom? The fact that God allowed the baby to die so he would be free. He doesn't have to stay married to her. Come on, Mom. That's a very bad thing to say about a girl who just lost her baby. Really? Good riddance to bad rubbish. V, I'll be going home now, and um, I expect you'll come later and um, tell me about the divorce. Take care. I hope you're not planning to do what she said. I don't, I really don't, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. Come on, bro. What do you mean you don't know? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I can have my own children. Yes, please, um, give us a minute, okay? Okay. Just wait outside. I need to talk to him privately. Okay. Okay. Can this wait until we get home, please? Uh, I'm not going home with you. What do you mean by that? Isn't it obvious? The only reason we're together is gone. So, what's the point? Okay, that's fine. If that's what you want. So, how long are you away for? I'm never coming home. I'm going to my apartment and uh, I need you to send your divorce papers as soon as possible. 
think my mother puts you up to this. Oh, Fena, please. Don't pretend you don't know where I'm leaving. Why are you leaving then? Tell me. <laughs> this is what you've always wanted. Freedom. So I'm giving it to you. Anna. Oh, oh baby. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I was in Calabar when Vena took him looking for me. My neighbor just called me, so I had to call um, Marcos. Who then told me what happened? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I thought you were going to South Africa. No. Papa was sick, so I didn't travel. And besides, your hands are full with enough trouble already. How is Papa? How is he feeling? He's better now. Oh, so, so sorry. Sorry, sorry, guys. Papa, who, who's that? Our father. Are you, are you both sisters? No, he raised us together in an orphanage. Hold on, hold on a minute. You were in an orphanage? My mom got to the orphanage pregnant, had me there, walked there for two years before she passed. She died of cancer. Well, um, I'm so sorry, I, I didn't know that. There are a lot of things you don't know about me, Venet. Too many things. generation. Listen, let me tell you. Hmm? I'm withdrawing my demand for your services as my wedding planner. Huh? I thought I could come, come to Nigeria and get a perfect wedding planner for my wedding. But I guess I was wrong. Hmm? I will invite the best wedding planner from Europe to come and attend to me. Huh? Instead of using a quack like you. Nonsense. Oh, baby. <laughs> um... Can I get you something to eat? <laughs> you can't run, but you can't hide. I'm glad you're back to your senses. You think she'll take me back? I hope so. I think so. But how do you intend to find her? Since Teddy will not tell her of her uh, whereabouts. You know, you know, this morning something struck me. What was it? I think she knew I would come back for her. What makes you think so? Because she requested that the early money be sent to Alphonse's account. I suspect she's gone back there. You know, she left the lead for me to follow her and get to her. So what are you waiting for? Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Yeah, sure, you should be scared. Well, thank you. That was quite coming to my nerve. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. Just kidding. Relax. She'll take you back. Lynette, over my dead body, would you marry that girl? Why don't you just leave her to die? She will die soon anyway. Honestly, V, you're just impossible. Why don't you go after a girl like Fiona or any other girl to fill the void in your, in, in your heart? Instead of going after that cursed, dying prostitute. Mom, 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 please. Mom, please. Must everything be all about you? No. Look, I, I've called this meeting to let everyone know that I don't want anyone to disturb her. Especially you, mom. I, I just want the rest of her days to be the best that she can ever have. Now, is that too much to ask for? 
See, yeah, yeah, I quite agree with bro. Because this whole thing... Oh, shut up! You're the cause of all this. Coming up with this blind date issue. I, I have actually become a laughing stock because of you boys. Mommy, just don't get it, do you? Listen, we are no longer boys. We are grown men. Then act like men. Look, Lazarus, you sit there, not saying, not doing anything. You, 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 you never act in this house. How come I have to be the only one that worries about this family? Why? Because you like stress. Gloria, you love stress as if it's your favorite food. Can't you see it's not all about you? Vinet here loves the girl, and that's what matters. Oh. Vinet. Sir. If this is really what you want, and you are promising me you won't give that poor girl reason to regret coming back to you, then you have my blessing. Go on and marry her. And this time, please, with emphasis, please, I want to attend the wedding. Certainly without me. Mom, please, you need to know her to love her. I mean, she's, she's not that bad of a woman. Oh, which girl? This girl is a trader. She, she sells... She, she sells... She sells her special goods. Mom, stop! Please! How could this be? You told me it was impossible. I said almost impossible. You are one of those medical exceptions we celebrate in cases like this. Oh, I am so happy. I mean, I had my suspicions, but I wanted you to confirm it first. Now I can see why you've missed chemotherapy for one month. Yes, I, I didn't want to take any chances. <sighs> I'm Vinat. Does he want this too? Of course, he'll be very happy. <laughs> Is there a problem, doctor? Madam, I'm afraid you can't have this baby. No problem. I'll, I'll have the baby. What? What did you What did you say? If I die, at least I I leave Venata baby to console him. He's been wonderful to me, and this is the least I can do. Madam, you're in the middle of a chemotherapy. That can wait. And you're almost three months gone. It, it will be very difficult to terminate it. So, what if I die? I'll lose this one too? Tell me honestly, doctor. What are my chances of surviving this cancer? <sighs> I'm afraid. Not much. <sighs> then that's it, is it? I'm having this baby. And nobody tells my husband of the dangers. I will tell him myself. Please. How? Four months pregnant? How is that even possible knowing that you have chemotherapy and cancer to deal with? How? Because I love you. I love you so much. And even if I die, I just want to make sure I leave a part of me with you. I love you too. And I love you to my dying day. She's still in the theaters. I haven't seen her yet. Come on, relax. She's going to be fine. Thanks, man. Talk to her. 
function. Congratulations, Mr. Vinat. Your wife had a baby girl. Yes, yes. 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 How's my wife doing? I'm sorry. We lost her. Jesus. No. 